welcome back to another vlog here on my new YouTube channel. Um, I know I don't look the best right now, but um, I'm just keeping it real. Like all day I have just been totally just struggling um, to even get this video done. And it's just been one of those things where I'm just like, you know what? Okay, cut the crap, Shelly. You don't have to have your makeup on. Just like say what you got to say because that's really what it's all about, right? So I'd like to talk about a couple things. One is changing my medication. Two is uh, my journey of letting go of wrestling. And three, maybe a couple of reasons why so I can clarify a couple things. I hope I don't uh, hurt anyone's feelings out there or anything like that because like honestly um anything I say I don't mean with any malice and that's why I very very rarely like unless it's kind of common knowledge say names because I always say it's not about the who it's about the what it's about that this thing happened to me and I have every right to share that right so that's what the YouTube's for <laughs> so first and foremost medication. I just changed my medication. What am I talking about? Birth control. So I'm going to take you down the timeline of my pathetic dating life. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> it goes a little something like this. So um, when I was in Kentucky, I had a boyfriend. And after I left Kentucky, uh, I didn't date anybody or really hook up. I mean, maybe here and there I had a like a little fling here and there, whatever. But it wasn't really something that I was searching for. And I think that when I had those flings, it was one of those things where I guess, I don't know. I was just a girl looking for love. You know, I know sometimes there's people in wrestling that do view me as being promiscuous or a rat, as they call it. But something that, um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and say I pride myself on. No judgment. Everyone is their own person and they have their own journey. But something that um, has always been for me. That's a better way of putting it. Something that's always been for me is I'm, I've always been a relationship girl. I've never been good with just like dating. That's why in my dating career, there's been a lot of years in between people and sometimes people are like, oh my gosh, how can you not go out with anybody or not have sex with people? And it's just like, I just, I'm a relationship person. I don't, I don't like after you like somebody and you see it work that it's not just you two. Like, I'm just not that person. And hey, that's fine, right? Like there's people out there that, uh, a girlfriend of mine, in fact, um, I always just use this, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I always use this as a Example, um, I have a girlfriend of mine and she's open about when she dates people. Uh, she's very fluid sexually and um, I guess most would say she's very unconventional in what she wants in a relationship and uh, things like that. Free love, everything goes, you know, man, woman, whatever. And not everybody's that way. And so for me, I'm just like a very relationship person. I like to like be with somebody and they're my best friend and we hang out, but there's still that romance. That's me. So that's why I have always been okay when I'm alone because I know I can go out and date or I can have these little things here and there because I tried it. Like I'm not somebody that says, Oh, I've always been this way and that's it. No, I try dating the way I guess you would say people conventionally talk about dating. But it wasn't for me. It was just like, <sighs> okay, if this is what's going on and we're hanging out all the time. Then why can't I be your girlfriend? And that's just who I am. Okay. Sue me. <laughs> so let's back the truck up. Beep, beep. <clears throat> uh, there's been a lot of times where I've gone quite a few years without hooking up with anyone. So my last serious relationship was, uh, we broke, broke up in 2010 and 
when I was with that person, we were together for three years. And when I met them, I was not on birth control because I was not really being that active. Like I was talking to some people, but like I wasn't on birth control. So then once me and this person got serious, I got on birth control. And then, uh, okay, so then we broke up. And then I got off birth control and then I didn't date anyone and I didn't sleep with anyone for like almost three years. Then when I, the next person I slept with was my next boyfriend and we had a long distance relationship. He lived in uh, Rhode Island. Wait, Rhode Island, Jersey, not Rhode Island, Jersey. Looks like people up here. So he lived in Jersey and I hadn't been with anyone for, you know, almost three years. So I got on birth control when I was with him. And then we only lasted for maybe like six months, I guess. And to be honest with you, it was the most honest breakup I ever had. So like positive vibes to that fellow. We just weren't meant to be together. So... When we were together, the shot is what I was taking. Just like in my previous relationship, I kind of skipped that part. Sorry. And um, so we were together for two sessions of my shots. The month that we broke up is when I got my last shot. So I had two shots with him. Then I went off birth control because I wasn't with anyone. Then about five months later, I met somebody and then they became my boyfriend And then I went back on the shot and then I was with that person for six months. So I did again, uh, two rounds of the birth control shot. Then I went off. Then after that breakup, that was in 2014. I didn't meet my current boyfriend until 2016. So I was off the shot. So then when he and I got together, I went back on the shot Now we've been together for over a year. So something that I guess up until recently, I didn't really kind of put together. That's why I'm taking you guys down this like timeline is that when I was younger, it wasn't until I was in WWE that I went on the shot when I had, I had a boyfriend because I had to deal with time zones and like traveling and stuff. So it made sense. Right. So that was, You know, I was about 26, 25, 26 when I first started doing the depot shot. Up until then, I always did birth control pills. So something that I thought was really awesome is that the depot shot not only protects you so you don't get pregnant, but it also, one of the side effects it could have is you don't have a period. And I was one of those people that I didn't have my period. So for me, I was like, this is freaking awesome. Like, had not have a period? Yes. Well, something that's been kind of alarming me as of late is I've been saying the last like four months, I feel my body's been like, oh my God, can we just please bleed? We need to bleed now. Can we bleed? So that was kind of my first, huh? And then um, something that has been really crazy for me to deal with is I would say in the last... The last eight months, I could swear I'm pregnant. And it's weird. I've never been pregnant. But I'm like, oh, my gosh, am I pregnant? Like, am I? And then I get the test not. But it was weird because, like, the first time I felt pregnant. So then um, I started thinking to myself, you know, I'm really going through a lot. I mean, Yeah, retiring from wrestling and dealing with being triggered by past events that happened that, you know, whatever. Like, that's life. And I'm no stranger to depression. But I would say since the summer, I have been so just struggling with depression in a way that's been like... (gasps) And it's just been weird for me, man. Like, oh, and it's made me feel so not myself. 
So I started kind of doing some research and putting two and two together. And I thought, you know, at the end of the day, I, I think I just need to have my period. So when I had to go get my next shot, I'm going to talk to them and tell them I want to go back on the pill. So I did that last week. And when I was discussing things with them, some of the questions they asked me were, are you experiencing more depression than normal? Are you experiencing um, excessive eating and or weight gain? These are two things that have just been my demon for like since the summer. So... When they asked me that, it kind of made me start to think to myself, uh, yes and yes. And for me, especially the last couple months, I've gained some weight. Now I'm going to do something. I don't want to do this, but I'm going to. Hot, sexy Shelly is fat. So like, see? And I know some of you are going to be like, that's nothing. But that's not who I am. And... It started messing with me. And another thing, I don't know if uh, some of you guys follow, <clears throat> have been following me, but I tried to dye my hair blonde last year and all my hair fell out. So I had to cut my hair. And like a few months ago, it was like super short. And I've been like a long hair girl forever. So um, it's been weird for me because I figured that I was really super depressed because like, I don't know how I how to identify with myself because I have this short hair and I know it sounds so vain and stupid, but like, just think about it. And the way I always put it to people is let's just say hypothetically, someone, someone were to say, here, use this product. And this product is going to make your hair look amazing. Awesome. And then you use the product. And then when you're in the shower, clumps of your hair is just falling out. Like, it's not the end of the world. It will grow back. Duh. But it's kind of a mind F, especially if you're someone that's used to having full hair women, full long hair. So I figured my weight gain was a result of me not connecting with myself and not feeling connected to myself. And then along the way, I've had a lot of different friend breakups in this past year, and it's really like guys are supposed to screw you over, but your friends. So I just thought it was all those. And I, I do believe it's a combination of those things, but where I kind of like lost myself and I just couldn't pick myself up. I didn't understand. And then the more I was talking to the doctor, I realized, Oh my gosh, that relationship I was telling you about in 2010, we broke up. Okay, so we were together for almost three years. By that last year, I was so heavy. And my weight kept going up and down. And the only way I'd go down is if I would literally starve myself. I was working out. I just didn't understand. Then, when I was with that next boyfriend three years later, I went through two rounds of shots. After that second round of shot, and we already broke up. That's the worst part. Like, I got the shot. We broke up, like, a couple weeks later. So I was like, okay, fine. I'm not going to get the shot anymore. I just let it get out of my system. I should bleed. Um, I experience weight gain. And then I would say, okay, we broke up in August. December is when my body started going back to how it was. And I wasn't doing anything different. And then my last boyfriend before this one, same thing. We were only together for six months, but we kind of became boyfriend and girlfriend before even sleeping together. So, and it was long distance. So when um, I saw him next and he was my boyfriend, I slept with him. And I remember we had to use condoms because I had just gotten back on the shot and it wasn't safe yet. So the second round of shots I had with him, damn it, you guys, weight gain. But because we broke up shortly after I got my second round of shots, gained some weight, but then my body back went back into shape. And then to my current boyfriend, 
I didn't hook up with anyone. I went on one date and we didn't sleep together. So I went on one date, but other than that, I didn't hook up with anybody. And so when I got with my boyfriend now, I went back on the shot, obviously. And then come the summer, that was my second round of shots. I noticed a pattern here. And then along the way with that weight gain, there was always this like, okay, no depression. I'm no stranger to it, but like this, why can't I like get myself out of it? So I realized I need to change my medication. So Sunday I went back to these bad boys and I'm really hoping that I'm onto something here and that in a couple months I'll get my period back. My body snaps back into shape. <laughs> And everything will be a-okay. So here's hoping. So that's what I've been talking about when I've been teasing this video. Is going back to good old birth control pills. Orthotricycline lights. And I didn't realize it doesn't take me that long to talk about it. So I'm going to keep moving on. So next topic. Um, cutting people out of my life. Kind of going with what I just said. Um, it's been a really crazy year because... I've had some friend breakups that I thought that I would just never have. And it's been a hard pill to swallow, but I've been trying to learn that, excuse me, I have learned that everyone in your life ha like, is in your life for a reason. And even people who have screwed me over, they served a purpose in my life other than teaching me a lesson of being screwed over. So like, but it's just hard when you're like in it and you feel betrayed and, you know, again, the dating world's supposed to hurt you. But when your friends do it, it's just like, oh, the Lord, no, not you too. And along the way, it's just been one of those things where wrestling has broken my heart. And a lot of the reason why wrestling has broken my heart is just seeing these fake and phony people who, unless they can get something from you, they're not your friend. And these are some of these people are people who I thought were going to be my friends to the end. And I think that it's been a crazy time. And it's not just like, like I read a comment earlier about my retirement video and someone was like, oh, because of Batista, she's quitting. And it's like, no, didn't you hear me? I said, I should bless him because I wouldn't have the life I have now sitting here right in this apartment with the people who I have currently in my life if all that stuff didn't happen. So it's all good. And I need to remember that lesson, this big old thing that's been in my life that's been disrupting my peace I finally understand and I totally get it so I need to apply that to all these different relationships that I need to let go of because it just this is why like when people get all pissy that I unfollow them or unfriend them on social media it's like they don't even know that whenever I see them tweet or post a Facebook or Instagram post emotionally what I go through and it's like reminds me of how they hurt my feelings how I try to talk to them about it and they try to spin it and it's just like high school bull crap and I'm just like I can't like I have I have to rebuild my life now I am closing this chapter of my life in wrestling 17 years like I don't need this anymore like I've had these feelings and emotions and these different people and I don't want to hurt their feelings because I've even been told, oh, Shelly unfriended me. Oh, oh, oh. And it's like, I'm not trying to be a bitch. It's that little do you know when you did A, B, and C, which hurt my freaking feelings. And sometimes I've even literally cried over it. When I see you post something, I go through that again. Anyways, this video is really long, so I'm going to cut it short because my sister's texting me. I need to go pick her up from work. But I just want to say this. Anybody watch, excuse me, how now brown cow. Anybody watching that 
is not just a fan. Positive vibes to the fans. And thank you for always having my freaking back. But um, if you're somebody that personally knows me and you feel butthurt about me unfollowing you or unfriending you or you heard I said something or whatever, hit me up because... I want to talk about things, but not, not all the time. That's not the right way to say it. How do I say this? Um, what I've learned is that not everybody's ready to talk about things when I am. So I'm extending this out there to anybody watching that uh, may be in that category. Uh, let's talk about it. And if you don't want to, that's cool too. I'll always throw you a smile and say hola, but I'm not going to hug you or shake your hand. And um, I wish everyone that's been in my life ever, whoever you are, even if you're somebody that you know I don't like you, whoever you are out there watching right this second, just know that I have no hatred for anyone and that took me a long time to feel. And I said nothing but love and light to every single person watching this right now. Like, no lie. No matter what falling out we had, if you are somebody I know personally, um, it's all good. Because, again, I really realized that I just wouldn't be who I am today had I not gone through all those experiences. All right. Adios.